Don't know why I'm drifting, I'm drifting so Out of my mind Hey guys, this is You versus Them for July 27th through August 3rd. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Ooh, okay, got cards jumping out here. Let's see what we've got. I haven't even asked a question. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see. Six of Wands. Wanting recognition. I'm feeling like you guys are wanting somebody to see just what type of person that you are and that you belong together. You want them to know that you've healed, um, that you're doing fine, <laughs> basically since they left. But there's some something in you that also feels like you belong with this person. Mm-hmm. You feel like you're on the right track. That you're fulfilling your destiny right now. Um, doing what it is that you need to be doing. Maybe not in a relationship because, you know, I don't feel like you and this person are together. Um, you definitely at one time, I feel, felt rejected by this person. But um, still in all, you guys are feeling like this person you guys were possibly meant to be. Let's see. What's been going on for Taurus in the recent past? Let's see. That was Taurus energy right there with the uh, Five of Pentacles. I believe it was Leo and um, Aquarius energy. Recent past for Taurus. Six of Cups, reminiscing about the past, um, the familial bond that you felt with this person, this kindred spirit that um, you felt like you guys were. Hmm. Thinking about the good times, for sure, Scorpio energy. What's been going on with the other person? Queen of Wands. Could definitely be an Aries Leo, I feel, for you guys. Um, this person has been trying to work on themselves, do things that they like. Um, they may have started a business here, but I feel like this person has a family. They have a lot of things, actually, that they have um, been trying to take care of, I feel. Been very busy, whoever this is. What's currently going on for Taurus? What's currently going on for Taurus? Seven of Swords. Mm. You know, I feel like with this relationship with this individual, it's been tough on you. And I really feel that you're trying to get away from thinking about this person so much but you're having a hard time you're feeling like that's probably what's best for you because it's done but I don't get that you guys really wanted to be final though so it's like you try to you know brush these memories out of your head about this person and it's been a struggle it's been a struggle. I feel like maybe you were the guy, you were the people that um, probably left for some of you. Um, in out of this situation with this person, and now you're kind of like thinking about what actually happened for some of you. That maybe you made a mistake, even because it wasn't so bad, or you know, you didn't have all of these horrible times with this person. You actually had some pretty good, um, fun, loving times with this person. And I think that that kind of messes with you a little bit. But I also feel like, you know, this person wasn't all, you know, hockey dory and peaches and cream all the time either. But I feel like the decision to leave finally was probably yours and um, and I do feel like you had reasons for doing whatever it was that you did <clears throat> but I don't think that you are really coming to grips with not really coming to grips but um, 
you're kind of rethinking how you left for those of you who actually did leave um, this person uh, you're kind of replaying things in your head and thinking was that the right decision to make you know when I left should I have left was it really reason enough to leave and for those of you who this person actually left um, the situation you're just really trying to like not think about them so much not let them be a focal point for you every day daydreaming thinking about memories it's like you know what no I need to stop thinking about that that's done it's over with <clears throat> what's currently going on for the other person page of cups hmm they may have started dating but I think more so this person is open to extending themselves emotionally again they're open to it they may have been closed off um, throwing themselves into other things to so try not to think about dating or think about the situation with you even but right now I feel like this person has taken an interest in actually you know dating or just talking to people even okay we have um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy here we also have Aquarius energy there <clears throat> Let's see. What's influencing Taurus right now? What's influencing Taurus right now? The Queen of Swords. Hmm. This is Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Um, could definitely be an Aquarius individual that you guys feel like um, they may be scorned. They may be angry. Um, Hmm. they're seeking the truth definitely you guys may also be hurt as well um, and you're wanting to know you know what the what is the deal what is the deal you're trying to think logically about this situation but the six of cups was the first card out so I feel like that's very strong here thinking about this soulmate energy um, this person this person feels like family to you this is this is somebody that's been a big, very important part of your life before so it is hard sometimes to think about yourself being without this person forever forever such a long time so in order to cope I feel like you guys are taking a very matter-of-fact point of view right now okay <clears throat> let's see what's influencing the other person what's influencing the other person <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> queen of pentacles yeah they're just like doing they're being a busy bee actually they're doing everything in anything under the sun to keep them distracted right now I see this person is probably working very very hard um, is is very possible that this person has started a business they do have a family maybe children or somebody that they're responsible for taking care of but they are more focused I feel on something that they're doing in their mundane life um, they're doing something that they love for sure but it doesn't take the place of the six of cups energy for sure mm -mm -mm. no but they are distracted whatever it is that they're doing you know it's it's definitely filling a void it's not filling the void though which is you not being there what's coming in for <clears throat> Taurus. What's going in for Taurus? Mm, the Tower. This is either you guys hearing something that's going to shock you because I, I feel like you know you're waiting to hear something. You're wanting to hear the truth. And I think the truth is really going to shake you up. 
something's coming in to kind of shake up the way you've been doing things, the way you view things, I feel. Scorpio energy. It's not going to feel good. That's damn sure. The tower never feels good. But it's, it's happening for a reason because there's something going on right now that, that should not be going on. If you are to progress in a positive way, you know, so the tower comes in to tear down all those faulty beliefs. Anything that does not belong, it needs to go. That's what that tower is. It's not going to feel good while it's happening. But, you know, after that, you'll start to rebuild, start to think a little bit differently, do things a little bit differently if that's what you need to do. Okay. <clears throat> What's coming in for that other person? Strength. This person is definitely showing restraint. Um, they're fighting urge. This almost feels like an argument happening, but you know, more of a burst of of um, you know angry words coming from your end or feeling this way feeling shook but this person's definitely showing restraint from arguing I do feel and maybe that was a source of soreness for you maybe you guys just really didn't get along communication was was very off um, fragile between the two of you. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> what is the outcome for Taurus? What is the outcome for Taurus? Seven of Pentacles. Waiting. Waiting. For some of you, this is having to actually start over on your own. Um, this is a breakup for some of you. Some of you are actually with this person. But things are kind of rocky. And you're wanting to leave. Feeling like that's what's best for you. And being by yourself. Being divorced. Being separated from this person. Like... <clears throat> thinking about breaking up and um, but you know it's like there's a breakup happening for some of you and actually investing in yourself doing something new I could go on and on and on right here because I'm, I'm, I'm getting a lot of stuff, but I'm already 12, um, almost 13 minutes in. But for some of you, this is a breakup getting ready to happen. And you guys will be going out on your own. This person um, is going to let you leave. If if they haven't wanted to let you leave before, they're, they're going to let you leave. If that's what you were concerned about so yeah anyway okay moving on to what's coming in for them two of cups huh there could definitely be somebody else that this person is interested in again with this page of cups they may have somebody else that they're interested in, which is why they're not really doing that much arguing about you guys leaving for those of you who are still with this person, because there may be somebody else here, Cancer Energy, Leo Energy. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you who are not with this person, <clears throat> this tower is definitely something that's going to shake your foundation. And you guys are actually going to want to invest in this situation still. We're right here 
you feel like it's best to not even think about it, you'll actually want to invest in this situation. And that's what probably what the, where this tower is coming from, is that you kind of change up your way of um, viewing this situation and want to continue to invest in this situation. This person may come and make an apology to you with this strength energy and that's what's shocking to you. And you guys can move forward with this Two of Cups energy because um, there's definitely emotion here for you still. Feeling like you guys, you know, you share something very deep. Okay. So if you're not together, I definitely see that there is a shift here. And if you are together, there's still a shift here. Okay. For a breakup or something for you guys to part ways. And, um, you know, this person may still harbor some feelings for you, but I definitely get that this person is probably seeing somebody else if you're already separated from them. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys. And um, let me pull a Romance Angels card for you guys. I hope I didn't confuse you with those stories, but I saw it. I have to say it. Please give me a message for Taurus. Pay attention to the red flags. Either way, either situation. If you guys are with this person, pay attention to the red flags. If you're not with this person, pay attention to your own red flags. Okay? So, that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now. I've been blind too long, now I finally see The real and fake, who's down for me? The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?